Hello again. I see you have an interest in a car shockwave. Well, you're in the right place because I'm gonna be talking about Binotech Laser Wave, aka Alternator Shockwave. First up, a car shockwave? It is a weird thing to say. And here he is. Hmm, where to start? Well, to summarize, not only this, but almost all other Decepticons from the line's existence, this toy line was car focused, meaning a heavy emphasis on the Autobots. But you can't really have a toy line solely made up of good guys now, can you? So they quickly ripped up some Decepticons using the modes they already had. In the case of Shockwave here, he now shares a body with the groovy of music loving jazz. Now, unlike the previous review, I'm not going to focus much on the details of the car mode. If you want to hear my thoughts on that, you should probably watch my jazz review. To keep things short, it's a great mode jam packed with awesome detailing. However, this guy is not just a straight repaint like Dead End. This is the Master Speed V2 variant. External differences lie in the front and rear bumpers with it being sportier and a spoiler. For visuals, here they are at the front. See, this one is a bit longer. The grille is larger. Then we go to the back. Until the exhausts are larger, I guess, and protrude out more. And spoiler. I really do like the changes done as they are subtle in what has changed. The colors on this guy are also fantastic. Dark purple is one of my favorite colors, so seeing it making up most of the car is beautiful. It's why I'd pick Shockwave if one was to ask me which of the two has the better vehicle mode. It continues to amaze me how different you can make two identical toys feel, transformation included. The conversion is the exact same as Jazz. To hear my thoughts on him, watch that video. But you can make them more visually distinct. Instead of doing all that twisting and turning for the legs, just simply leave them as they were after you extended them. So basically, just don't transform the legs. Don't transform the legs. And there you go. Here we have a shockwave that is different compared to chairs. Now obviously it's a bit weird having doors for feet, but hey, options. It's unintended, but it is a nice option for people who don't want them to just be repaints with new heads. But even if you don't want to do that, the colors really do help out in making them very, very distinct people. Bots, I should say. Speaking of the head, it's um, Shockwave, alright? A mono eyed Cyclops devoid of emotions, driven by cold heart facts. His singular yellow eye containing light piping for those who enjoy that. You can sort of see it in action as well. It has this nice glowing effect. Quite neat. Another staple of his design is a gun barrel for a hand, done in a deep clear purple that I'm sort of split on. On one hand, pun intended, it's cool, on the other, it's a bit much. Still, overall, Shockwave continues to provide evidence as to why, no matter the design, even the repaint, he kicks ass. Also, here's the muffler gun. It's just a holdover from Jazz. I'm not gonna show him holding it because I don't really see him using this kind of gun. But it's an option, I guess. So if you just want one version of the mode, 
this ain't a bad choice. Don't get me wrong. Chaz is still quite good. But personal bias, I would choose Shockwave over Jazz. He could be a stand-in for the Masterpiece version or just something you have, transforming him now and then. That's what I have him for. Bought him for like 30 plus SGD, roughly the same price as him, so it's not expensive either if you know where you're looking for because 100 plus for these guys just doesn't feel worth it. And if you are curious about articulation, it's literally just him again, so if you want to know about that, watch his video. It's not just for clicks and stuff, that video is surprisingly doing quite well for the amount of subscribers I have, but seriously, it's just treading the same topic again, so just watch the previous video. But at the end of the day, it is up to you. And so, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.